H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the videos of H2K Infosys. So in this particular session, I am going to discuss about the conditional statements. <coughs> now, uh, these are the macro level analysis of the conditional statements that we are going to analyze. Then first is what is conditional statement? Then where is conditional statement used? And where is the usage of AND and OR logic in conditional statements? And how do we use uh, conditional statements? These are the four macro level topics of conditional statements. So let us first understand what is the conditional statement by itself. Now, conditional statement is nothing but get results from cost based on conditions defined. Okay. So you have you are getting the results from the coding or from the statements or group of statements based on the conditions that you are defining. Now, if the condition is Boolean true, then a particular result will be thrown out. Else, if the condition is Boolean false, another result will be thrown out. So, if you see out here, the usage of Boolean data type is also present in your condition statements or conditional statements. So, if the condition is true, that is Boolean true, a particular result is going to be thrown out. If the condition is false, another result will be thrown out. Excuse me. So, as we have seen uh, and discussed, conditional st statements do use the concept of Boolean logics and Boolean data type result. Now, Boolean data type result means what? It's, it is nothing but the results or that is thrown out by the by using the Boolean data type. Now, Boolean data type only throws two kinds of results. Okay, it can be true or false. So, definitely, when we are using conditional statements, we get the results of the condition based on the comparison done for the condition because we use comparative operators in conditional statements okay so two things are very much used in conditional statements the usage of your boolean logics boolean logics are nothing but the and or all logic gates and the usage of the boolean data type results that means the condition will throw out a result that can be either true or false so based on the truth, a particular result will be thrown out. Based on the false, which is nothing but the Boolean false, a particular result will be thrown out. Moving ahead, Boolean logic, as we have discussed, will use the AND or ALL logic gates. Logic gates are implemented within the conditional statement. So we will see an example of this. Whatever we are discussing theoretically, it is to be discussed also practically. Last part is the Boolean data type results. They are also prevalent by using the comparative operators. So, as we have seen that in comparative operators, we compare results by using the comparative operations signs like your greater than or less than or greater than equal to or less than equal to. So, in conditional statements, we definitely use comparative operators. And the comparative operators throws actually the Boolean data type result is true or false. Based on the truth, the conditional statement throw, will throw out a particular result based on the false that is coming out from the conditional statements a particular result will be thrown out where to use conditional statements when comparing two results we require to use conditional statements when we require to compare let's say more than two results we can also use conditional statements so we'll see our example of this now how is comparison done of two results? Comparison is done obviously by using the comparative operation that is nothing but the different comparative operators rather. Now, if the condition in the comparison operator is true, a specific result is thrown out. If the condition in the comparative operator defined is false, a specific result will be thrown out. Now, since I have uh, told you guys that we use the logics that is the logical gates like AND and OR in conditional statements. So we will see how the AND or OR logic gates works. 
So let's say this is the AND logic, this is the OR logic, and this is the table of an AND or OR logic. Now, if you look at this particular table of AND logic first, the result is true. That is, output is equal to result. The result is true if both the input conditions are true. And result of an AND logic is false when one of the condition is also false. So in this particular AND logic, we'll see that result is only true when both the conditions are true. Result is false. Here also it is false. Here also it is false. Here is here also it is false. Now the result is false in an AND logic when one of the condition is also false. So this condition is false. That is why the result is false. So this condition is true. This condition is false. Still the result will be false for AND logic. If both the conditions are false, obviously the end result will be false. Now, if you look at the all logic uh, table, the output or the result is true if one of the condition is also true. Now, in this particular scenario, this condition is true, this condition is true, that is why the output is true. In this particular example or an analysis of the OR gate, the condition is false, the condition is true, still the result is true. In the third part, the condition is true. Next condition, condition number two is false. Still the output is true. Out, all logics will throw out false as the output result only when both the conditions are false. So here, this is false, this is false. Both the conditions are false. All logic says the output should be false. So this is how the AND or the ALL logic work, works and it is very much used in our conditional statements. <laughs> Now, this is a specific, you know, syntax of a conditional statement out here. So, this is one of the syntaxes and another syntax is for a nested if-else. Nested if-else is nothing but if-else present un inside another if-else. So, if you look at this particular part, the first part. So, how is the syntax? The keyword if is used followed by the conditional statement defined within the parenthesis of if. You can see that. And followed by the body of if. If The body of if will have the opening curly brace and this is the closing curly brace of the if statement. Now, the body of if will be executed if the condition defined within the parenthesis of if is true. If the condition defined within the parenthesis of if is false, the compiler is going to move to the else part and execute the body part of else. This is how if else statement works. Now let us look at the nested if else. Now as we have discussed, nested if else is if else present inside another if else. So if you look at this, this is if else statement present inside this particular if else statement. It's called nested if else. So how does the nested if else work? Now, if statement is always followed by a parenthesis and in, inside the parenthesis of the if statement will define the condition. And the condition is checked how? By using comparative operators. And the result of the condition statement will be either boolean true or boolean false. So, this is the condition statement for the if, if part and this is the body starting with the curly brace, opening curly brace and this is where the closing curly brace of if is ending. Then we have else. Now, else is followed by if again because this is a complete understanding or of the if nested if else. The else is followed by if again a condition out here for the if part and the condition uses the comparative operators. The comparative operators will give you the boolean true or boolean false and this is the opening of the curly brace that means this is the body of the else if part. The body is ending out here and the last part is your else part else part will also have the body part starting with the opening curly brace and a closing curly brace. How does this nested if else work? Now, let's say the condition in this particular if else, nested if else is true. This condition statement is true. If the condition is true, the compiler will execute the body part of if, that is this particular part. If this condition is false, the compiler will move the control to the else if part. The compiler will then check the condition. If this condition is true, it will execute the body part of else if, that is this body part. If this condition is false, 
the compiler will absolutely ignore this part and move to this particular else part. And in this else part, the compiler is going to execute this body part of else. So this is how nested if else works. Then 